morning, you guys. I'm running late. I'm just late by 10 minutes, but I didn't have to be late. I was just laying in my bed, and that's normally what I do in the morning, but I didn't know that they were gonna go early. So technically, I'm not late to graduation. I'm just late to meeting up with his family to go to the graduation. Yeah, girls be doing their makeup and driving, and I'm on the freeway. I didn't give myself enough time, that's for sure. So, I have some eyelashes right here. I got some mascara. I got some mascara. I got some liner, just in case I could throw some liner on, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna just throw the lashes on call it a day. I don't want any lip stuff, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. forever <laughs> look at all these people that came here to see me uh, performing this is like a Coachella concert <laughs> congratulations Thanks. wow you did it I know <laughs> 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 I got the this is his doppelganger right here. <laughs> Graduated. Okay. <laughs> With a master's degree. You better let them know. <laughs> Shit, they sure ain't easy. <laughs> now we're looking for something to eat. Let me. Where's my phone? This nigga left my phone. Left my camera on top of. The <laughs> left my camera on top of the car. I was about damn near ready to whoop that ass. Whoop that ass. Oh yeah. But the next thing, Thank I'm just you. trying to um, find my next job that's more higher paying, honestly. I think. You still teaching? I'm subbing, but that's why I was like, I need a higher paying job. I'm a tutor. So I'm gonna say a prayer. So this is overcooked? This is burnt. That's what I was saying, it's overcooked, because I always eat it's garlic. I'm gonna be mad. It's garlic <laughs> How you describe it, you know? Yeah, that looks so he's it's like, no, garlic. this is how it comes. He's like, this is how it comes. That must oh my god, you guys! I ate a bread bowl and I slept all day. It's like 10 o'clock right now. Chris is here. I'm about to pour my shot because he's had a long day. Poor thing. <laughs> We're about to prove them wrong. This year's Republican candidates are off to Let's meet them. <laughs> Take that shot first. Take that shot first. Take that shot first. All day long, you have it. What did you only have? A Moscow mule? Open that thing. I have to drive. Drink that thing. Drink that thing. But I have my. Let me play some of that. Come on, Re. Pull through. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, na, na. Yeah, yeah. My lip gloss is motherfucking popping right now, my nigga. What the hell? <laughs> we? No, not anymore. It's a video. Hey, this is Amara. This is Lala. This is Jujubi. <laughs> Chris is right here. That's copyright right there. So, um, yeah, we're about to go in to the club, Gold Spike, downtown, Fremont. Yeah, so we're gonna turn up, and I'm drunk already. Y'all drunk? No. I'm drunk. Why aren't you drunk? Yes, you already drunk. cut off. So, wait, 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 why did you stop drinking? Why yeah, did you stop drinking? Like, give her some, give her <laughs> a shot or two. I shot her too. Yeah, uh -oh. take that, what's wrong with you? Take the rest of <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, she's like, yeah. Nonsense girl like you. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Even Chris is offering his. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you gotta get drunk. Drunker at least. 
<laughs> you have to now. At least you know. Ah, uh -uh, what's that? Why would you go out and not enjoy your thing? <laughs> where's the cover to this? I'm not drinking anymore. Good morning, my baby daddies. It's May 13th. That means we have how many days till summer? Summer will be in 19 days. 19 days till summer. You guys, 19 days till summer, this is ridiculous. It's going way too fast. Are you guys ready to be done with these vlogs? Are you guys ready for the madness to end? I'm a lightweight now, I can't drink as much as I used to. If you drink and then eat, you still gonna be fucked up. So you literally just have to eat first. <laughs> you guys know I was talking about like, um, collabing with Fashion Nova and stuff like that. So they sent me a package and the package actually got here on the 7th. So that was six days ago. The girl sent me the tracking link on the 10th. So I was like, well, if they use USPS, it could be two day shipping and it would have been able to come in yesterday, which is Saturday. So I was like, let me just check today to see if it came in yesterday so I can go and get it, right? You keeping up? USPS doesn't even come to our apartments anymore. They literally just leave it at the office. Like, you guys know my phone came in and I went to go pick up my phone a couple of days ago. And so when I got my phone, they only handed me my phone. They didn't give me another package. So I was like, what the heck? Um, I wasn't like, what the heck at the time? Because I was like, it's only been one day. It's probably not here yet. I'll just come and get it later. So <clears throat> this morning I decided to click the link. Um, the tracking link to see where it was and it said it was delivered on the 7th and I'm like what that was almost a week ago So that means I should have been able to get it with my phone, but they didn't give it to me So I called my management. I was like, did you guys have a package for me? And then she was like, hold on. Let me go check She had me on hold for like 10 minutes came back and was like we don't see anything for here for you And then I was like, well, it says there's a package delivered to you on the 7th And how come y'all didn't call me about it? Like it's been a while like you know what I mean? And she was like, yeah, probably because we didn't get it. <laughs> I was like, well, why would it say it was delivered to your office then, you know? And um, so she didn't have an answer for that. And she said, if I would like, I can come down there and check. So before I go to the gym, I'm going to stop by the office and check the mail room. To s I don't even know what I'm checking for. If they can't find it, how am I going to be able to find it, you know? But I'm still going to check because it says it was delivered on the 7th. But and but she gave me the link on the 10th. So it, it, a lot of things aren't adding up right now so I'm like a little lost they had to ship it out on probably like the third or the fifth in order for it to get to me on the seventh you know what I mean so they sent it out a long time ago I was like just barely getting the link on the 10th and when I got the link how come no one was like oh the package should already be there we sent it out a few days ago I don't know but we gonna check well you look what it is a big old package from Fashion Nova and she was like oh that one has been here for so long let's open it up I want to see what they got it feels like a lot of stuff. And since I'm doing my um, hauls differently, I'm not gonna even like open them up on the camera, obviously, because I'm opening it here. You guys get the first look. Little boom boom shots, you know, semi comma. Semi comma, I got the pom pom shot. When I was picking out stuff, I picked like four pairs of pom pom shorts, but um, because I sent them so many, she told me that she'll just pick a few out of them because sh they're sending me two different shipments. They're not going to send me the whole 30 in one shipment, so they they had to split it up. So she just picked 15 out of them. She's like, I'm so sorry, you're going to have to go th through the site again. I'm like, what? Okay, this is like a little two-piece hound's print, hound's tooth print with some leggings. Quick little first look. I'm not going to show you guys everything because I have to get to the gym. But this is, ooh, I was hoping I got this little tie top bell sleeves but it's long sleeves so who knows where I'm gonna wear that or if I will ever wear that oh and I got my baby soup they gave me a baby soup high waisted you know fashion over they're known for their stretchiness so oh uh, this looks like it might be oh it ties I can tie it tighter like this looks like it might be be too big for me but since it ties I could make it tighter Olivia is like the person who's um, like working with me and stuff and she be, be having my back. Okay, this is just like a, a kimono. Kind of like a structured kimono, I believe. Like it has like this at the, it smells funny. It's, it's just a kimono. You guys have to watch the haul in order to see what these are and how they look on though. I'm about to go to the gym. Be looking out for this video soon, and I'm gonna be posting a lot of pictures because I was in the agreement. Well, not a lot, five. <laughs> so, get ready to see some cute ass pictures too. Ooh, 
Ooh, I can't wait. Because I'm trying to like change my Instagram. If you guys haven't noticed, like my real Instagram, um, on my on my um beauty Instagram, there's not like a lot of pictures. I just did some promo for this channel and stuff on there. So I'm actually trying to like get my Instagram pages like you know popping and looking professional and also like the thrift hauls that i've been doing they're gonna have to help with it too because i want to go to this like um store because i don't know if i was telling you guys but i'm obsessed with bread and i didn't realize how much i loved bread until i tried to do a no carb diet or a low carb diet and i really didn't understand that i was addicted to bread until um recently and I, I remember when people would be like, oh, you need to cut out carbs. I'm like, I ain't cutting out carbs. I love me some bread. But it was like me joking. But now that I'm actually seriously trying to cut out bread, I can't. <laughs> like, it's so hard. Like, I have been doing it, but it's so hard. So I know that they have, like, gluten-free bread. And I want to go to, like, a, a Whole Foods type of store. This car is irritating. <laughs> I want to go to like a Whole Foods type of store. I saw one close to where I get my car washed at. So I'm going to pull up in there and see what they got because your girl needs bread. And if it's got to be gluten free bread, then I'm shit. So this is the grocery store. It's called Natural Grocers. And you see it's right next to my car wash. I'm going to see what they talking about. This is my first time. Okay, so the experience was pleasant. <laughs> the bread that I got is um, the white rice bread, but I also got some like knockoff Hawaiian bread, you guys, because it's organic. So I was like, let me just see what it tastes like. Organic doesn't really mean anything except for it's made from organic ingredients. You know what I mean? But it could still be just as high in fats and calories and everything. So yeah, I just wanted to try it. It says that per roll, every roll is 90 calories. And then the bread I got is this one. I don't know how it's gonna taste. It's called Emergy, gluten-free multigrain with white rice. So um, it's gluten-free. I don't know if that matters. It's vegan, obviously, and but it's made with rice instead of like potatoes or you know all those high-carb things. They gave me a free bag for signing up. It took two dollars off as well for signing up. Um, and they gave me a free chocolate bar for Mother's Day. So I want to try this because make life sweet. I don't know. The guy, I heard him tell one of the ladies, like, I don't really like the chocolate bar. It's good. It's good. It tastes like regular chocolate. Mm -hmm. They also said, because I'm a member, they have like a room at the back where... You could teach classes and stuff, and they said you could teach classes here for free as long as you don't charge the people. So y'all, I'm thinking I might use this space for my baby daddies, and we could do like a little, like teaching class. Like I'm gonna teach y'all how to something about living healthy and shit like that. Like if, as long as you're teaching health, health, um, you can come to the free classes. So I can go to the free classes, and I can actually host the free class as well in their space at the back. So I'm definitely going to look into doing that. You guys let me know if you're interested, if you live in Vegas and you want to hang out or have a little course. It's not really going to be a course, but <laughs> that's the only way you could use the space. So <laughs> yeah, we're going to see. The bananas that I got from the grocery store weren't right. You see, they're kind of cream. I don't know. Everywhere I go, the bananas are not right. But I needed bananas, so I stopped by the little gas station across the street. And they, this one wasn't even all that right either but it was still sweet I was still able to enjoy it and it was riper than these ones so yeah I also got this because I'm hungry just like a little snack pack with some Italian dry salami and some cheese they had different flavors but I was just like hmm let me just get this a little energy you know because today is cardio and the gym is empty so that means I can go hard it's also Mother's Day so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers all my baby mothers all my baby daddy mothers. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, you guys. You did it. It's fucking psychotic. You had, some, you had a human being inside your stomach. And the only thing that you could hope is that human being turns out to be a good person. One day that human being that you was carrying in your stomach gonna move across the country. Gonna move across the world. Okay? So enjoy your little babies. I miss my mommy. And I love my mommy. 
But the gym is so empty. I've never seen it this empty before. Let me enjoy my cheese and crackers and wait for Chris because he's taking a shit according to the text message I just read. Like everyone wants to do all the cool things of black people. All the, they want to do our dances. They want to like you know do all of our trends, our style, our culture. But then mm -hmm. when it comes down to the nitty gritty and all the important stuff for black people, then they're not black no more. Nah, well, you gotta um, like you know like um Ariana was it Ariana or Selena Gomez? Like, what? did you see like how like they like they were speaking out for um like the shooting and the kids shooting and stuff? Mm -hmm. But when it was time for Black Lives Matter or anything like that, they're like nah. That, that oh yeah, they cool. never talk. It's which is that crazy. They never cool. talk about. It, it really freaks me out how celebrities really don't want to talk about Black Lives Matter. Yeah. As soon like as that, they're like, Nah, nigga, I'm good. I'm it's like it's almost like I don't believe that. But Me Too movement. Yeah. That oh, they hopping on that bandwagon. They wore everybody wore black to the Grammys because yeah, of that I'm shit. Like, that's why, okay. That's why I was like, That's no. so ironic. You're wearing all black to the Grammys because of um, the Me Too movement, but. It's been an issue. The Black Lives Matter that you're wearing the black clothes, like you know what I mean. It's so I just, ironic I just, to me. It's just like oh, it's everyone's been an so issue. scared of losing their endorsements or losing to anything. help a black person. But to help like, black mm. people out. Let's not. Oh, no, Sorry, I can't do that, buddy. Don't want to do that. <laughs> and then that's why. That's why. And then like they want to. And that's why I don't respect any of them that are like, you know, they're taking. They're hot. They're prospering off our culture, and then they don't care about us. Oh, yeah, then no, no, no. Why would they care yeah, about us? So, I don't, any that's why I was like, I don't even support none of that no more. I saw a post that was talking about um, what privilege was. Um, there's this white guy on YouTube. He makes, like, commentary. I don't know his name, but whenever a black situation comes up, he always talks about it. So, um, he has, like, a news thing on, on YouTube. I don't know what, mm -hmm. what it's called, but anyways. Um, he was saying pretty much, he was like, white people don't understand what privilege is. Um, what white privilege is is because they don't feel it because they don't see it because there's a black girl that got arrested or no there's a black girl that got the police called on her she I, what did she go to Yale yeah sleeping on Yale on the bench oh, okay yeah she was sleeping no not on the bench she was in the study the oh. study room oh, okay. and some white yeah, girl came room. and was like you can't sleep here and um, I'm calling the police and the police fucking came and said can you identify yourself like why do I now have to identify myself because a white girl was playing games on the fucking 911 line yeah. it's like if I call the police on her would you guys come and start questioning about if she belongs in the building like there are some shit that they said in that video that really threw me the fuck off oh we just want to make sure you belong here and the girl was like okay if I can open my apartment and show you that I belong here will you leave me alone and then the police officer said yes she opens her apartment and he's like, but we still need your identification. You just told yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> if I open the door, it's good. It's like, you just told me, officer, that if I if I prove that I live here, that proves that I belong here, then you should actually be arresting this girl for calling the police and playing with the phone on the and phone line no time when there's time. other shit that needs to be done. But instead, you're still fucking with me. I have something to read. Can I get past you so I can go back to where I was? Like you're, you don't understand. You're interrupting people's lives and the shit that we got to do because just because we came out the womb fucking black. Mm -hmm. Did you see the video with the um, lady that called the cops on the people having a barbecue? Yes, and then she was like, "Oh, huh? <gasps> you guys are attacking oh, my me. God. Leave me alone." Oh, like what? You didn't leave those people. And alone? then the white lady that was yelling at her. Only reason why that got um any any um public publicity is because there's a white lady that was actually harassing her because she was harassing black people so she was harassing black people and the black people were just like ignoring her like we always do and uh, and she was there for what they said 24 25 minutes or some crazy shit and she was just harassing the black people a white lady came and was like what's your fucking issue leave them alone they're barbecuing and you can barbecue here and then she the white lady said that her tone changed it did. the yeah. white lady's tone changed she was like your tone changed once i got here because i was watching you and the way you were talking to them and it's not the same now you want to play the victim yeah. you know and she was like yeah, was, oh well video was got me mad oh my it. god you guys have to go and watch these things like it's so crazy what's going on and I don't know. That whole Daniel Berg Bergoli shit. No, I don't think like, I know that one. Huh? What's that? Daniel Bergoli is um, the Catch Me Outside girl. Oh. Okay. She got, she's popping now, right? And then, so, th this girl, Woe Vicky, and then the little Vicky, or the little Asian one we were just watching. Little Tay? Yeah, little Tay. Like, they got big off of fighting with Daniel Bergoli. And none of them, all, all of them, all that ignorant shit that they doing, none of them are there for a cause. Like, all of them are there just to make us look stupid. Like, it's almost like they're putting on this persona because they can. Like, oh, I want to pretend like I'm black. 
bitch, what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah, I was like, we gotta live this every fucking day. And then people are supporting them. Like, black people are supporting them. Well, that's, that's where, that's, I mean, we have our own issues <laughs> to conquer and worry about. Oh black my God, people. that shit throws me off, bro. Black like, people, we got, we, we, we tear down each other and then we uplift people that do that, shit us that we like, like ratchet Oh my shit, God, man. not all black people though. Not I, all black, most I'm just black saying. People, but what I'm talking about is like the black people in the media. They mm. know that it's easier to run with and black people are just here for the check. Well, you like know? we have like those. Um, what's that? You know those black blavity writers and those these black right? You, do you know like mm -mm. the blavity and all like these wannabe woke writers? But they just they just come off as just trying too hard and like so I don't. Know. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot. There's a lot of black issues. I feel like. Of course, there's a lot of black issues. Like just like uh, just like we just, we can't even like unite as a people because we have these blacks that were growing up that they were bullied by other blacks so they hate black people and they grow up and they hate their own race i don't know i just feel like we then need we, to have a movement we do oh, that's what i'm saying but we don't not about? but like we don't work that's not what it is though what you're talking about you talking about there's too many different groups no i'm talking about there's like, too much hate in our yeah, black I, I understand black people hate black people too that's the issue why that's the reason why white people don't like that's the reason why everybody else is able to hate us yes because we don't because we like don't like ourselves yeah. but the reason why we don't like ourselves is because there are issues in our community like black people do be acting a fucking fool some black people do have self-hate like and we lived with a lot of like and bullshit then, and we put it out to other people not just not just because they're black but just because i'm an angry person type thing some mm -hmm. some of them are just like mad you know like you walk up into a hospital and you're trying to talk to a lady or you like you know like customer care like okay like the airport when i was at american airlines like that bitch did not have to give me a hard time and then at the school yesterday sorry at the school yesterday for his graduation right there's a guy at the escalator who was like checking people's purses and when a white person walked up he checked her bag oh, he like this kind of it's kind of racist but it happens to us all the fucking time so oh well if we do it back right so, so um, there's a white family in front of us and he checked all the woman's bags. So when we walked up to him, we thought they were gonna check our bag. Your sister was scared cause she thought she had mace and then he was gonna like press her about it. But he, she got to him and he was like, just go. <laughs> and, he, and then your mom got there, she opened her purse. He was like, go, go, go. And then I came and he was like, go, 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 go. You know what I mean? <laughs> like he didn't check us. Like we could have ran in there with a gun. He was like, you guys aren't the ones I'm afraid of. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if more black people were just like, just cause you're black, I'm going to help. Just because you're black, I'm on your side. Like, you know what it I mean? If help. we were, yeah. It would help us a lot, but that's not the case. They're like, oh, well, someone does something wrong. They did something wrong. Like, with the whole, like, Bill Cosby against all those fucking white people. It doesn't matter. He's against white people. We have to be on his side. You know what I mean? It's it's against white people. If it's black on black, we have to look at politics, you know? Mm -hmm, but He did something wrong. He did something wrong. Oh, this was worse. Okay, we're going to be on his side. But if it's black against white, it doesn't matter what they did. We need to be like, no, 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 no. No, <laughs> that's the only way we gonna make it. We have to be on some reckless shit, like the same way white people are. But, white uh, people love to. I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm not done. White people love to call us fucking racist when we do the shit that they do. There's a post I post. Okay, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. There's a comment I commented on a video. Okay, I wrote there was like a video of people stealing boxes from um, people's houses, right? They're still in like packages from this guy's house. So this guy put a trap on the box. So the first person that went up in there was a black guy. He was just walking past and he went in there, tried to take the box and it exploded and he ran. Every single other one after that was a white person and they'll pull up in their car, privileged. They pull up in their car, drive up a little bit, run over there, grab the box, the box will explode and they'll run and hop in their car and drive away. I'm like, white people do this for a fucking living? <laughs> And we didn't know about it like and then when black people start doing it then it's like oh my god fucking niggers like they do why are they doing that shit so i wrote on the video i was like lol shaking my head whites that's it if you see the responses actually i'm gonna post the video down below so that you guys can see the responses that i got from white people they're like you fucking racist nigger i'm like okay <laughs> i'm like no but all right it, and the nigger comments always get the most likes and it's like you're trying to tell me people aren't racist mm -hmm. are you trying to tell me that so how come i can't be racist back yeah but no my mom my mom made a very good quote she or, your mom yeah she goes they want they want you to play fair while they cheat exactly and then when the uh, and then when the roles get reversed they want to play victim yeah exactly 
Yeah, that's basically what it comes down to. They want that you, is him. They want you to play fair. I'm just saying, we just gotta get reckless. Cheat. Like, I don't fucking care if you're not serving me or praising me as a white person. I'm gonna be rude as fuck to you just because that's what y'all do to us. Mm. <laughs> I'm just like shit. I'm I'm tired of it. Yeah. I'm tired of it. I was like, I'm gonna start calling police on white people not doing shit. Like, if if I see a white person based on stereotypes, because that's what they do for us, based off of stereotypes, if I see a white person. Um, a male, 25 through 35, walking past a school with no kids around, when, like, I'm calling the fucking police. <laughs> like, I'm calling the fucking police the same way they be calling the police on us when we're doing nothing. Mm -hmm. The last issue is the Cardi B issue. She went and deleted her Instagram because Azalea Banks called her out on some real shit. Now, Azalea Banks, nobody really fucks with her, you know? We don't really like her, so everybody's kind of pissed that the message came from her but it did come from her and it was a real message. Close the door. Oh. Cardi B's getting away with a lot of the shit that she does because she's not black. And I was just like, Loki, that's true. Like they want, they gave, like they're allowing, if, okay, for example, if I wanted to be a rapper, there's no way that anybody would support me if I was as like uneducated and just ghetto old school stripper as fucking Ask Cardi B. Like, no one would allow that to happen if it was, like, a black girl. Let's just be real. And so she said that, and everybody was pissed. You want me to come out right now? So, yeah, which is 100% true, and it's just sad that Azalea Banks had to be the one to say it. I love Cardi B. I love her so much as a person. She's just a nice person, but one thing I don't like is um, how she doesn't want to admit that she was given, like, she's always like, I worked my ass out to get here. It's like, girl, I've seen people work their ass off to get somewhere, and that's not what you did. But I, I, I like you, though. I like you as a person. Your music really is not all that good, but because I support you and I like you and I follow you, that's the reason why I listen to it and why I support. It's not because you're a good artist. It's not because you worked your ass off to get there. It's because you were acting stupid on social media, and you was talking about some real shit while you was you like you you didn't have you didn't have proper grammar but you knew what you were talking about like you know and so that's just why i was following you it's not because you were a good artist but anyways i sound like a hater all right bye see you guys later so i just got home took a shower and now i'm about to catch up on vlogs editing and, but I do want to go to the Salvation Army tomorrow so I can go to the Salvation Army at 9 o'clock in the morning because I want to do the I want to do this every Monday I want to go and check and see what they got every Monday you know new shit comes in every day and Mondays they have 99 cent sales so why the fuck not as a matter of fact before I post this vlog I'm gonna make sure I post the um, thrift haul so you guys can tell me how you feel about it let me know how you feel about the thrift haul series that I want to make especially once I stop doing the vlogs I'm gonna start doing vlogs once a week and like I said I'm gonna make a vlog channel when these vlogs are up so that way you guys can go over there and subscribe and watch the vlogs there if you really want to follow me with my vlogs and stuff so I'll just vlog my whole week regardless if it, it's two hours a movie whatever y'all gonna hop we'll see there and watch it or I might just like film the whole week and cut it up into three and then post it on the weekend. Like on Sunday, you'll just get three vlogs, Monday to, I mean, you'll get three vlogs, like part one, part two, part three type thing for the whole week. But we'll see how that works because I do want to do that and I do want to turn my regular channel back into frugal finds, you know what I mean? Like where I find cheap things, whether it's furniture, hair, clothes, you know, how I used to do it back in the day. My baby daddies who've been following me since day one, y'all know what it, what it started off as, you know? So I want to keep doing that, um, and I want to keep it true. I want to keep my channel true to its name, My Frugal Finds. Um, so yeah, that's just why I want to split the vlogs up. So if you guys want to follow me and see what I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life, then I'm gonna create a vlog channel for you guys to see that later. But right now, we got 19 more days of this, y'all. So 19 days until I launch my vlog channel, and I have some other surprises in store. Y'all been thinking I ain't doing nothing, but. I'm gonna tell you guys about those as we get closer. So stay tuned, y'all. Y'all about to be y'all about to be so proud of oh your baby mama. Y'all about to be so proud of me. Why is your mouth so wide when I open like that? Hi. What you do today, mama? Huh? I'm still with the boys. You're with the boys? I'm still with your brothers. Hey, where they at? Let me see. Yeah, we went to they come to my church. Ugly ass nigga like yourself. Hi. 
<laughs> you an ugly little I'm nigga. Huh? Oh, you trying to clown on my pimples? It's because I got my period. Try having one of those. Little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you talking to a shit, man. You can't talk shit about a lady. Mom, I'm in my house. That's what you used to say when your titties used to be wobbling everywhere. <laughs> I'm in my house. I'm in my house. Yeah. I just brought it out. He got some. Where about you, boy? Then. Right now. Right now. That's your brother. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. I want to wish you another happy Mother's Day because I'm not there. Hi, brother. <laughs> You can tell which brother I like more. <laughs> oh, you know what? There's can and drink of over there. Beer? Yeah, right. Oh, there is root beer up there. Mom! Right up Yes! Sir. I called you today because this is the first day. I, this is the first year I haven't got you a Mother's Day gift in a really long time because I'm broke this year or whatever. But I told you that last night when I was drunk. But now I'm sober and I wanted to say it again. Okay? Uh -huh. Make a wish right now for what you want for next year. I have my camera out. I'm documenting it. Okay. Tell me what you want next year. Yeah, I want a car. What type of car do you want? <laughs> Mom, say it. Say the name of the car that you want. Say say the make and the model of the car you want and what year. Uh, I think she already got you. She already picked up the one, so I don't know what year it's gonna be. Come on, mom. I'm talking to you, not them. What car do you want? What's your dream car? Uh, uh, baby Range Rover. You want a baby Range Rover? The one with the black top and the white body? That's right. Nice okay. All right. That's my goal for next year is to get my mom a Range Rover. <laughs> yeah? So this year for Mother's Day, I'm making a promise. This year for Mother's Day, I'm making a promise that by next year, you're going to get this. Okay? Okay, honey. Okay, I love you. Have a better... Oh. Ow! Have a good Mother's Day. Bye, guys. <laughs> this is the first Mother's Day in a long time that I haven't done something for my mom. I've been putting all my money into myself this year. So, I, and when, I don't want to just get her flowers or anything. Like, that's lame, you know? So, um, she knows I love her. And she she said it last night You got when I spoke to her at midnight. Um, she was like, I don't care. I know you love me. And I know you, when you have it, you'll give it to me. So, she already knows that. So, I'm really not tripping about that. But, enough is enough. Like, you know, I'm hustling. So, that way, by next year, I can give my mom whatever she wants for Mother's Day. And you heard her. She said she wants a, a baby Range Rover. Um... So, hopefully by next year I can do that for her next year, May. <sighs> it's a lot of pressure, but I could do it. I do very well under pressure. Woo! All right, you guys, so it's time to eat dinner. It's pretty late, I shouldn't be eating right now, but I haven't eaten. What did I eat today? It's nine o'clock. What did I eat today? Oh, I had a little snack pack. <laughs> had a little snack pack and a banana. So I think I, I deserve some food. I went and bought some bread. I don't know how I'm gonna even use that bread, especially the one that I made with rice. But um, for dinner, I'm gonna use the plantains and I'm gonna use a plantain and then I'm gonna 
heat up some of the I'm really irritated with how the lighting is in here I'm gonna heat up some of the pasta sauce I made the other day and put it on top of the plantain Nigerians out there know how that's gonna taste because it's pretty similar to like um, stew with plantain like you put stew on top of your plantains or eggs on top of your plantains so yeah whoa I was able to just rip open a plantain like that y'all that's how you know it's gonna be good you guys I caught it again Look at what time it is. I swear to God. I'm about to make the type of change that everybody is gonna know me for. So, um, the angel 911 sign that a lot of my baby daddies told me to look up. I looked it up, I read about it, and I feel like it's true. Especially with the epiphany I had today at the gym. <laughs> Y'all, the time on my microwave is ahead by like five minutes, so. That's why I was like, it's 9.14, and then it was 9.11 on my phone, so yeah. It's either a hit or miss with these, okay? You gotta pay attention to your plantain, otherwise it will burn right in front of your eyes. Right in front of your eyes, I'm not kidding. If you've never cooked plantain before, you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you have cooked plantain before, you know my struggle. If you do not watch these bad boys, they will burn while you're looking at them. <laughs> oh, 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 the pasta sauce is done. It's hot. So I have them prepped right here so you put them so they don't get too oily. Mm. Booyah! Bon appetit! Make sure it's cooked all the way through. Not quite. It could be hotter. You're gonna heat that up a little low, a little longer. Put it in there for like two more minutes. Maybe one minute and 30 seconds. We'll see how it sounds. Oh my gosh. So I allowed myself to work until 3 o'clock, y'all. This is an issue. Shut up, bitch. Helen's on the phone being annoying as fuck. As usual, annoying as fuck. But I'm about to go to sleep because you're not going to say anything. Okay. It's late. I need to wake up early in the morning because I have a... I have a shoot tomorrow morning, so you know I want to be ready for that. Up bright and early when the sun is at its peak. <laughs> yeah, love you guys. Oh wait, I want to show you my buddy. Oh. <laughs> is she a little chubby one? <laughs> Y'all not ready for this? Where are the where are the where are the bathing suit halls, man? Look, I got a little a little fat a little fat abs coming through. Give me the bathing suit halls, okay? Before the abs go away and I can't consider myself plus size no more. <laughs> if you call a woman African woman, no go green. She go say she go say I be lady yo. Huh, huh.